Aw, look at these two lovebirds. Hey, you guys really know what you're doing. How romantic. Ooh! Ouch. Hey, it's okay, just be careful. Looks like nothing's ruining this gorgeous night, even toe pain. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Are you alright? It hurts, but I'll be okay. Don't sweat it. Okay, it's finally time for the most impressive move of the night! Lana! Your dress! Kevin, how could you? Oh man, Kevin might be single after tonight. What am I going to do? This dress is completely ruined! If only I could find a needle and thread in here… Whoa. Who knew you could fit a ukulele in that little purse? I was wondering where I'd left this shoe. Jeez, who gave you this bag? Mary Poppins herself? What can't you fit in there? Hey, here's something I can use! As weird as it sounds, a stapler may just do the trick here. Things are about to get crafty up in here. For a tear like Lana's, you want to put the staples on the inside of the hem so that they don't show on the outside. Simply run them all the way up the entire hem, even where it isn't torn, so that the hem matches the outside. Hey, not too shabby for a last minute fix, Lana. Think you're ready to brave the dance floor one last time? I wonder when Lana's coming out. She's taking forever in there. Hey Kevin! Wanna dance? Will you please forgive me for ruining your dress? Eh, no biggie. I actually kind of like it better this way. Aw, nothing can stop this dancing couple. Sometimes, spending a Friday night reading a good book is much needed. Huh, I wonder who that could be. Hey Vicky, you ready to go? Uh, why aren't you in your costume yet? Oh yeah, the superhero party's tonight. I completely forgot. Okay, just give me five minutes. I'll be right back. Oh man, what can I turn into a superhero costume in five minutes? That won't work. That won't work. Hey, I think I can do something with this. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'll do! If you're in a DIY costume jam, a computer printout is your best friend. Hey, I think I know what you're going for, Vicky. Take your shirt and lay it flat, then cut out your print very carefully. It's important to make sure none of the white paper is left on there. There you go! Take a sheet of plastic wrap and lay it over the spot you want your print to go. Next, place the print on top so that its back is touching the plastic. Now cover the front of the print with another sheet of plastic wrap. Next, take some wax paper and lay it right on top of the cutout. Once it's placed where you want it, take a hot iron to it for a couple of minutes. Make sure to keep it moving, don't just sit it on top. Remove the wax paper, and boom! You've got yourself a brand new Superman outfit! Check it out! You look amazing, Vec! Oh shoot, you still need a cape! This'll do! Boys and girls, have no fear! The DIY costume queen Vicky is here! And she is ready to party! Whoa! Did you just come up with that in five minutes? Superman's unite! Have fun, guys! Ah. Uh. The old coffee dribble on the white shirt situation. Yikes. Lucky for Helly, all hope's not lost. Check it out! Take a marker or pen and outline the stains. Seriously, stick with us here. Your clumsiness just turned into a fantasy coffee island. Pretty impressive. Is it just me or is this way cuter than the plain white t-shirt was before? At work, it's easy to get in the zone. You totally forgot about happy hour with the girls! Don't stress! Take the straps off your cotton undershirt and slide them over your head to either side. Like so. That's it! Who knew going from daytime to nighttime could be so effortlessly chic? And it can be your little secret.
ever go from Netflix and chill to Netflix and clothing malfunction? Don't stress, you can fix this. Just take a pair of scissors and a pinch of creativity. It feels good being helpful, doesn't it? Place the torn pair of pants on a table in front of you. Fold them in half so one leg is on top of the other. Find the corner sticking out, that's the crotch of the pants that needs mending. By making this rip even bigger, you can now place your entire head through it. Now put your arms through what used to be the pant legs. They're now sleeves. Wow, they actually fit pretty nicely. And there you have it, a cute new crop top you can wear to work out in. Or lounge around and watch more Netflix. Hey, we don't judge. Packing for a trip there, Helly? All that stuff should fit into your backpack, right? It's just a short two-day trip, after all. Hmm, wait a minute. All right, come on, please fit. Maybe if I just keep shoving it in again and again, it'll all fit? I'm never gonna make it to my trip on time. Hey there, Helly. Packing trouble? Oh jeez, it's like a monkey packed that thing. Let me show you a little packing hack my mom taught me that never fails to save space. Take this t-shirt and lay it flat on the table. Fold the sleeves in over the chest. Now take other items like your towel, underwear, and socks and lay them on top just like this. Lift up the top of the shirt with everything on top and roll it on down. Kind of like you're making a little burrito, filled with clothes instead of beans, of course. See the ankles on your socks sticking out of the sides? Pull them over the ends, securing the roll of clothes you've made. You can do it in one big cuff, see? Nice! Now you've got yourself a compact burrito buddy to take with you on your trip. Oh wow, they can fit right into my backpack no problem. And what's also great about this packing method is that your clothes won't be as wrinkled. Hurry up, we're late! Ugh, nothing good is on. Stupid. Seen it already. Ugh. Hey, Helly! Whoa! Jeez, Vicky, what did you do? Pop that button off with a slingshot? Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh no, not our picture! Okay, seriously, will this thing slow down already? Whoa! Pineapple juice down! Don't sweat it, Vicky. I got you. Here, take this dime. No offense, Helly, but how on earth is spare change going to help fix Vicky's pants? Believe it or not, a metal coin like this can actually come in really handy. The next DIY clothing hack is a really clever one, so watch closely. All right, let's give this guy a try, shall we? Cut a piece of denim out of an old pair of jeans in the shape of a circle. Flip it over so that the back side is facing up. Place the dime in the center. With a needle and thread, start to make stitches around the dime. You can make the stitches fairly large, but not too big, see? Go all the way around. Go ahead and gently pull the string tight so that it puckers the fabric around the dime. Now wrap the rest of the thread around the tail multiple times so that it's nice and tight. Put the button into the first buttonhole so that the tail is facing inward. Turn it over and start to widen and flatten the tail fabric so it's pressed against the jeans. With your thread and needle, sew the tail down flat so that the button stays put. Snip off the remaining thread. Now take the other buttonhole and slip the new denim button through it. Hey, that looks pretty good. So if you're ever in a bind and don't have any spare buttons on you, spare change and some clever stitching can save the day.